2006 Subaru Legacy GT, new turbo, still no boost. Going to check it for leaks in the induction system. Uh, to do that, we're going to use our snap-on, oh, that's my finger, our snap-on smoke tester. We have two, but we're going to we're going to use this one. We can calibrate this one, so it should be fairly close, but because of barometric pressure, we're going to go down to 40 thousandths. We're going to get down pretty even here. Oh, come on now. 40 thousandths. All right. So that's 40 thousandths. 20 thousandths. So 40 thousandths leak. Now we're going to go back. And now we're going to check for smoke. First of all, we're going to check, test for smoke. This pellet, when it's, the system is sealed, such as this, there's no flow when the system is sealed up good. And when you let it go, you see we've got smoke. So now that we've got this primed, we're gonna come over. We've already taken the induction system out. And now, we hit the smoke again. So we can tell that we've got smoke going, plus we have a lot of flow. And now, oh, and we immediately see, in, immediately see smoke. And the smoke. Wow, it's coming out pretty good there. See if we can figure this one out. Let's get a good light. It's coming out of the around the clamp. The turbo inlet. And there is the turbo inlet. There's the clamp. The clamp is so tight that it's actually turning. If you can see the clamp, the clamp's actually turning to the side. Do now do the smoke. Welcome. It's the turbo inlet pipe that is leaking. So it does, the clamp cannot tighten it off. It needs a new turbo inlet tube.